everybody. Welcome to Lisa's Art Room. Tonight we're going to be working some more on our Christmas Classic Junk Journal, which is behind me. Okay, so we're going to be working on this. Y'all come in and say hi, we're live on Facebook. If you see the little red button at the top left, if not, you're catching a replay. I'm going to get you guys pulled up so I can see chat. Hey, Dawn. All right, so we're going to be working in here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do today. I've got a few things I could do, but we'll do some decorating. Hey, Lori. All right, so let's see. I got a couple people on here. Volume's good. Let's just go ahead and pull the camera up and get started. shadow there. I don't know how to get rid of it. I've got three lights. For whatever reason, I just cannot seem to get it to go away. Alright, so let's see. We did the little center page last last time. So we got that done. And so I have a couple of thoughts. I thought about doing a waterfall. I thought about doing, I got these cards that I got from, I assume Dollar Tree. But they're just little like Santa mail cards. But they're real cute. I thought I might could do something with that. I'm not sure what. They even have like envelopes and stuff. Got like envelopes and um, cards. So. I feel like I should be able to do something with this. I'd love to have a, like a person, a kid or something, but I don't think I have anything that big. All my little people, Tim Holtz peoples are like pretty small. I don't think any of them would, you know, make sense for the size, but I could still do something with this. It was like I thought about maybe cutting it open, making a little letter have sticking out or something. I'm not sure. So I have that. What else do I have? I'm trying to see what I had. I had, you know, the typical waterfall type thing, which I could do a Christmas themed one of those. I was trying to find more like interactive stuff. I, I like interactive stuff. I didn't have a lot of planning time though, so it is what it is. We'll we'll do something. I also said I was going to work with that this die we cut out, so I might do something with that. I never did get the extra pine cone cut, but we can we can figure that out. So I'm thinking. I have Christmas tiles. What else do I have? So I could obviously do a waterfall with these tiles. They are kind of small, but I'd probably back them onto something. So I've got a whole bunch of these little tiles. These are the Tim Holtz ones. So I have those, which are like that. I call them collage tiles. And then I also have in this, this Stamperia set, I have, let me find the right one. It's a little one. Let's see. I have um these type things, which could work for a waterfall. I just would have to um, back them so that they're they're square. They need to be square so that they flip. Um, but I could easily back them onto something. 
And I have a decent selection of those. I don't know what's in the 8x8. Eight eight. That's the 12x12 12 12 pack. The 8x8 eight is eight going to have some smaller ones, but I don't have as many because I had two 12x12 12 12 packs. And the cards are too big. So either the tiles or possibly this Samperia um, elements. But I gotta think about what to do with this because this is super cute. I gotta use it somewhere. I just don't know exactly how. I'll figure it out. I was hoping I had a little letter. And there may be in my ephemera a little Santa letter. If not, I can make one somewhere. I'm sure that I have one, honestly. I have so much ephemera. The chances of me having something that looks like a letter is fairly high. But I've made little pretend Santa letters in the past, so I know I can make one. I don't think I have like a pre-made. There's a parcel. That's kind of cute. But I was thinking I could make a couple like maybe packages or letters to go with that. I just got to figure out there needs to be a, ideally there needs to be a person or something. No, I don't think I have anything. Even in like my older digitals, I just don't think there's any kids. Like, I don't have a kid pack. I do have a whole bunch of larger baseboard dies. I don't know what's in there. Oh, it's a cute little lamp post. I'll probably split it and use just the top layer. <laughs> I get these and I rarely use them thick like they are. They're just always so super thick. They're great for a cover or a vignette, but they're not so great for um, pages in a journal. So there's a couple of these little windows. That could be fun. I've got those frames too. I've got like these um, Christmas frames. I bet one of these would fit that little frosty window. Hmm, it goes that way. But yeah, I could possibly do that. Is that too big? It's close. It's a little too big. But I have some frosty windows. I do have another piece of that somewhere. And it has like also one that's like, I don't know, like a grid. So that could be fun to play with, possibly. I'm not sure exactly how. I'll just leave those in there. They didn't, I don't know if they came from that set. I don't feel like they did. I think they came from the transparency set. Sometimes I throw things in together and it doesn't really go in there. Possibly something with that. You guys have any preferences or something you want to see that I haven't done in a while? Do you want me to try to do something with the cute little mailbox? And I'll, I'll probably do all of these ideals at some point. Um, but, you know, we're just talking today. Or a waterfall element. I'm leaning toward the tiles, but I also like these. So, one or the other. Um... Sure, we have a page that I could put a cute waterfall on. The question is, where would I put that? I have this stripey page. It's very bright. It could be fun. You could put maybe on something like that with a bunch of packages. Maybe. It's a bright page, that's for sure. And then let's see in this one. Not that. I have a belly band there already. Not a good red for that. Probably also. A lot of the reds in this I notice almost have a pink tone. Just almost. 
I'm leaning toward that stripey page for that. It just feels like it needs more traditional green and red, right? The holly's not horrible. That's not horrible. So maybe the stripey page or possibly this holly. What was this holly? Oh, that's red. Okay. Anything else? We've mostly worked in this book so far. This signature. And then there's the just the red and black. Black and white, but I don't think that works. I think I already did something on the plaid. I also have this one. Don't think I like the color. Okay, so maybe the stripey or the the holly. I don't know where the stripey went. Is it in this one? I'm losing them already. Oh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's somewhere in here. I'll find it. Holly. Could also do one of the plain pages. It doesn't have to have one with stuff on it. All right, where are you? Maybe it's in the first one? Gosh, how did I lose it so easily? I don't know. There it is. <laughs> so it disappeared. It is in the first one. We're doing everything in this first signature. All right, so stripey, holly. Those. Or just do it on something plain and give it more decorating. Toward those. So something like that. Let me see. Do I have anything that I could use with it? I have a, some other die cuts. Let me look at in there. Is it this one? This is an older Christmas set. Oh my god, it's got like cabinets. They're also Stamperia, but they're all around Christmas. It's an older set I bought that I honestly never used. It's got some people, but they're like um Adults. It's kind of countryish. And then I have this what they call in pink Christmas. Again, I'm not seeing any kids. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I have a Santa. That's from. I know what it is, but I can't think what it's called. I got it from Michaels. Probably like recollections or something. But Santa doesn't make as much sense with the scene. That's the stocking. That's all I have in there. So no kids. Like I said, I have kids. I just don't have that size kids. Stamps, ephemera. I don't think there's any Christmas ephemera there. Nutcrackers there. I'm trying to look at all my stuff. All right, where's my people? Paper dolls. Let's see. Like I said, I don't think any of them are going to be the right size. We will look just in case. Let's see what I got. I don't think there's anything I can cut out of these. They're all very small, too. They're big, but they're only like halves. I know there's some kids in there. Let's see, what is this? Halloween. We don't want Halloween. Christmas. Men. Women and couples. Christmas kids. What do we got? Anything big enough? Hmm. Oh my goodness, just get your tweezers because you can't pick nothing up. See, that's like, <laughs> it's a monster mailbox. 
the biggest mailbox you've ever seen. She looks like she's in her pajamas. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be at all big enough. And this is totally a couple. I don't know what you're doing in there. You're supposed to be over here. All right, so I don't have any kids that are big enough to make sense with this. I mean, even if it was a very small child, that is a one big mailbox, so that doesn't work. So I won't be able to put a person with it. these the only thing I was thinking maybe I could stick one out behind it but maybe I'll just do packages and not have a person what's in here and a kid that doesn't look sad see this is I don't think it really works see any back. Mm -mm. Alright. So maybe not that idea. But we'll just do presents and letters, I think, with it. And that'll that'll be okay. Get all of these back in here. No idea how I fit it in there. definitely don't have kids. That will work. It is so hard to find things to the right scale. Who said that? Deborah. Yes, it really is. All right, that's fine. We can just do packages because I can make two packages and letters any size and be okay. So I think I'll do that. Do y'all like, let me see if y'all said, anybody say? Y'all say after my video when I've already done it, because that's what always happens. <laughs> uh, let me just think about it. This is definitely very bold. Which isn't bad. I mean, it would just be a very bold, bright page. I, I just like the colors. The colors seem to go with that brightness. So... We're just going to put it on there. I'll figure out what's going to go. So we'll do that and then maybe try to do a waterfall. All right, Lori, you let me know because this one's for you. Um, do you like for the tiles for a waterfall? I'm sure you know what a waterfall is. It's, you know, flippy thing. It's got all the different pictures. Um, do you like a couple of these tiles? So we'll probably do like four because of the size. I don't think I can fit more. Maybe I might could do five. Four or five is all I can fit, I think. Um, but we've got like all of these kind of things. These, there's a bunch of flowers. There's like one, two, three, three flowers. And then I'd have to put something else. Maybe the sayings, like this saying, and maybe this one, this tag or this one. And then I've got some birds. Some really cute stuff. So we could do these. This one's got more like critters and sand and stuff. And then we've got a couple of foods. Not enough to do a whole thing. So probably not the foods. But Deborah says she likes it on the stripe. Good. All right. Um, did I just put that in the right one? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to keep them separated. Because I only have one set of the 8x8, but I have two sets of the 12x12, 12 12, so in case some of you don't know, some of you know, I am making two journals, so i got a one, both are going to be sold, well, one's already sold, and the other one is going to be sold soon. All right, let's see. I do like these pictures. They're cute. They almost be cute just by themselves and not a flippy thing. 
These might be a good option for a flippy thing. And then I've got the tiles. The tiles have lots. I mean, there's so many. I could easily do a bunch of tiles. But like I said, I might use this. This is parcel. That could be fun. I don't know what else is in here that has that type of a feel to it. I'll just, I'll make some envelopes. <laughs> you like it, I'll use whatever you like. You guys always say that. Santa. Candies. I meant one. I'm trying to see how many things in here could be letter or that's good background. Hmm. They aren't backed, but I do like these labels. I only have a couple of these Christmas labels left floating around. All right, so let's do, oh, the 24 is awesome too. That could make sense. And I can mix and match. I don't have to just use the Stamperia on it. Because these colors particularly are very muted like these colors. They're very similar. These are much brighter, but that's okay. Because if I use these, I guess these are brighter. A little bit. I don't know. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Oh my goodness. What should I do first? I should do the letters to Santa first. I'll figure out this, the, what, the um, waterfall. And then I have to decide if I want these. I do like these. I think I have some more. I'll have to see where they are. And then figure out which ones of these I want to do if I'd use these for the tiles. They'll have to be cut. These don't have to be backed. That is a plus. Although, no, they'll have to be backed because, well, unless I just cut them. I could cut them square and just ink the edge to blend it could do that and then I wouldn't have to back them or anything and I could still have the pretty backing on there. That's a possibility. And if I use the little tiles in the half, I definitely have to back them. Not that it's that big of a deal. But. All right, so let's go with the stripey page for the tiles or the, um, the Santa thingy. <laughs> the letter, the letters to Santa thingy. I'll set this aside. I'm liking this. I might use it there. It's a little small, but it's not it's not unbelievable. I don't think I had any other die cuts. Stamps, ephemera. I have a whole so much stuff. So much, so much, so much. What's in here that's saying wise? Let's look got happiest season wish you Merry Christmas Christmas greetings making spirits bright to have a Santa like he could be so big though I mean does it have to be in proportion it looks like he's collecting his letters it's kind of cute I'll let me know what you think. It doesn't have to be in proportion. It could be silly. I'm trying to look at all these things. There's a bunch of them. Let's see if anything makes sense for mailing letters. those somewhere. Maybe not on this. Alright, so we have, have Holly Jolly Christmas dashing through the snow. It's the happiest season of all. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Making spirits bright. The most wonderful time of year. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's a wonderful life. It's being to look a lot like Christmas and tis the season to be jolly. Of those, perhaps believe in the magic. I'm leaning 
comments with that. What do you think? Or of course, Christmas greetings, but it's not the bright red, so I was leaning toward not doing that. Believe in the magic? See, y'all think like me. <laughs> I think believe in the magic. Because, you know, letters, magic, you know, it's all, it's all part of that. All right, let's do that. That could be fun. Okay. We're going to figure this out. I like this lamp, so i got to figure out if I can use it on this page or not. I might not, but I'm, I might because I do like it a lot. So we need something to make letters with and parcels. I'll look at my ephemera and just make sure I don't have anything. Let's not lose this. I'm going to set this on my piece of wood up here along with these things. This is our page. I'll leave it like that because I could put something on this page that kind of flows into that possibly. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, ooh. May Santa Claus have in his pack, my dear, everything you've wished for throughout the year. We got to use that somehow. Even if I use both, we got to use that. Because that's just too perfect. So definitely that. I'm looking to see if there's anything letter-ish. Can I make a letter out of any of these things? I have some little letters that I had made, but I don't think any of them are going to be Christmas themed. Stockings. Some hollies, maybe for decoration. All right, let me just find some paper to make letters out of, I think. I'm wondering what I could put over here that could go into it. Any thoughts? Oh, candy canes? I have candy canes. No, they're going to blend in too much. The holly sticks out a little bit better. Okay. We'll keep this couple of hollies. I think that's probably the only couple of ones I have fussy cut, but there might be some in that smaller pack. Um, let's see. I haven't done a letter in a while, but let me find my pack of letters. Uh, where is it? It is right there. Snowflakes, all kinds of things. So I'm thinking just these type of little letters. They're very simple to do. They're basically just um, a rectangle, and then you just fold the two top things in and fold and fold. So super simple. I don't think I have any Christmas ones already made up because I just did random vintage looking stuff. Pretty sure I don't have any Christmas stuff. I have a. I'm thinking this about this size. This size are smaller, so I don't have a lot made up. Maybe that size. I have just a couple of kind of plain ones. I don't think I like this. So we'll find a color that will work with this stripey stuff. I'm sure I have something. <laughs> I made a ton of these, but I rarely use them. You can stack them and do other things, but I just haven't. For whatever reason, I didn't. But they're easy to make, just rectangles, so. 
Let's see. What do we got? We have this holly. Could be good just to make a fake package. For a letter, we got to go a little plainer. I mean, I guess I could just do white and decorate it. I don't think I have anything already made. So much stuff, guys. I have stuff from this year, stuff from last year. <laughs> just go with a solid white other than the packages I'm gonna do a few packages some sort of fakey package I don't know how I'm gonna do it I have to think about it you know just a little box shape or something with a ribbon or a bow do I have I probably have some like ooh I have this there's some bows in this die set. Where'd those tweezers go I just had? There's these bows. I could totally put those on like a package. I might have to cut a few more. I have two. Looks like I have two cut out. I feel like there was another bow somewhere. Oh, I bet it was in the other one with the truck. It was on that tiny little reef it's floating around here somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. All right. This could be a good package. Is it too? No, it's too bland. Let's find something. The green's going to work well, I think. This Merry Christmas. Maybe. The letter's going to be, I think it's just going to have to be white. Well, it doesn't mean we can't use something with a color on the other side so it'll have like an accent color when you fold it. I could probably do that. Let's see what I have in my scraps before I go cutting anymore. These are usually just the drops off of them um, when I cut my pages down. Of course, like a plaid would be a good idea for a box. Make that size. Some of these are Halloween. Got them mixed up. Put all my Halloween stuff away. I thought I did. That's still there. So there's one that could be a possibly a plain. This is cute. Oh, I might use it somewhere. So also a possibility. Flowers. Oh, there's like one label there. I don't know how many packages I'm going to make. I don't want to spend two hours doing it, but it might happen. I'm not plaid, is it? No, I don't like it. I'm trying to find good contrast colors. Hmm. Maybe, especially if we're bringing him in. He does have that blue in there. I could use this trim like a box. That's a possibility. I'll leave that in there. All right, so we'll use this for sure. Maybe that. Definitely, I think this holly. I'm trying to find some smaller pieces. All right, where's my papers? Papers, papers, papers. Oh, I have the stickers. I wonder if there's anything in Oh, and die cuts. I have all kinds of things, guys. What? Pull out my stickers and my die cuts. See if there's anything in here. There might be. These are these um, Paper Studio sets from um, that, so I know the colors are pretty bright on them, so, oh my goodness, I can't, <laughs> I can't 
pick anything up to move it. Right, we're going to use him. Gems, probably a tad thick. What do we got here? Any packagey things? Ooh, look, there's some packages. So we got a couple packages there. I bet there's some in here. What's in here? We have some on the sleigh with the doggy. I could always use that on the other side. I might cover that with something. It could honestly even just... No, I don't think I want to go with the same thing. I was going to say, it could be with the same thing, but I don't know about that. Spread cheer. There's more packages. What's it? A snowman with packages. Everybody's got packages. Cozy. Tis the season to be jolly. Mm, Merry Christmas. Believe in the magic. We get two believes in the magic. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, they say the same thing. So this one looks like this. And then we got this one that looks like that. So they're both the same saying. Another Santa. He's cute, but this I like this one because it's got the pack. Now I only have one of those, so only one of you are gonna get it. <laughs> Sorry, tis the way it is. Someone will get the other one because unless Michaels happens to have that set still, because I got it for like ninety nine cents, but I don't know if they do. I might run over there and see. What do we got? There's a couple of packages. I don't know if I'm crazy about the color. Oh look, a Dear Santa. Yes, one Dear Santa. Woohoo! Yay! We only need really one, just to get the idea across. Let's see what else is in here. Candy canes, gingerbread man. Candy canes, kind of cute color. More holly. I'm not sure if I want to keep this page white. I'm, I don't think I do. I could possibly keep it white and just put an edge to it or something. Maybe. I do have a bunch of these hollies, so. Trying to see if there's a letter in here. Oh, there is. I thought there might be. Because usually the packs and the ephemera kits tend to go together somewhat. So sometimes you luck out. There's a letter. I lucked out. Of course, I only have one, so I'll have to see if I can find another one of these kits. They typically have them, but they might be sold out. If not, I'll make my own letter. Or someone will get the sticker and someone will get the cardstock. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. That's a lot. I probably mixed up these two sets. I don't even know. Probably. <laughs> I'll never keep these sets organized as to which one's which. They are both Paper Studio, both from Hobby Lobby, and the little kit that's got the paper and the stickers and everything. If they still have them in stock. They're a common thing, but they are also, um, you know, it's Christmas, so getting Christmas time, everything will go out of stock. I don't think I need anything else in there. Put this one back in here. This one says Christmas Basics, which is this one. I try to write on things so I know what it is. Could even use a frame, I guess. I'm thinking. 
Do I have a door? I don't know. I might have a door, but I probably don't. All right, so let's go with for this page. Oh, I got a cup. I don't know where you get. Oh, you probably go in basics. Probably. Okay. So let's cut a little package out of this because this will be easy package. I mean, I could literally just use this middle piece. I'm debating if I want to double layer it. I think I do. I don't know where I'm going to put all this, but I'll put it somewhere. That's going to be a little package. And then maybe one of these is a little package. Again, I think I'm going to double layer it. Just It's going to just give it a little more stability. Probably not going to be straight, but we're going to just cut a little shape. It might be too big. It could go a little bit smaller. So, should I use this? I kind of like this. I like that for that side, I think. And we've got a couple hollies. Candy cane, I may or may not use and these hollies. Either one is fine. This one matches this better, so probably that. Dear Santa, we're going to cut a slot in that, and I'm debating on whether that should be a pocket or not. I might put something for the letter to fall into. I don't know. I'm going to think about that. This will go here. It takes up a lot of space, but that's okay. Maybe the this has got holes that need punched, I think. Can't tell. It's either raised or does it go through? It looks like it's supposed to go through. Yeah, it does. It's not punched very well. But it is supposed to be. But yeah, they did a kind of halfway job of punching it. Even these are supposed to be punched. I think I got those. I might have to trim it because it's not coming off of there quite right. Where's my teeny tiny scissors? Almost. So we want to use this little doggy, maybe the snowman on the other page I do. So we'll just do snowman or dog. One or the other on this one. I'll save the other one for my other one. Although I may go try to buy another one of these sets, I don't know. It is a cute set. So probably not spread cheer. That's a little too much, I think. Like that. Definitely going to put a slot there for that. Maybe my packages are too big. Where's the packages I found? Saw some. There's a tiny little one there. I could use that sticker. And then there's those stickers. We could probably just use the stickers, maybe. I'm going to put ribbon on one of these. I think this one. Although the colors aren't great. Ooh, I didn't think about that. They're kind of dark. What about... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm unsure. Maybe it's just the section I cut out that was too dark. 
because it does have some brighter red. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not crazy about that. Okay. <sighs> uh, another package. What's in here? Anything? No. Alright, we're just going to do sticker packages, I think. So let's cut this little slot out. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this. I could just put a little piece of cardstock right there for it to slip into and leave it so it can be opened because I think that would be fun. Maybe vellum. Vellum would be a better choice. Does this have a front and back? No. Okay. Um, let's cut it first. So let me do that real quick. Let me get all this out of my way. If I can. I'm just going to cut that little slide out. With my blade can find it. Should I use a ruler? See how straight I can cut. <laughs> All right, and then we want maybe a color there. I don't know. It doesn't absolutely have to have a color. Let me put this back up so I don't cut myself. Um, I have like a rub on page that's got like writing, but I wanted to leave it for a writing spot because I thought that'd be fun. Let's glue the vellum there. I know I want to do that. I just got to think about how you can get it in and out. That could be tricky. Um, I guess if I leave the one side open, that could work. Make it like a pouch. <laughs> I'm trying to think of this as I go without a plan, which is risky. Oh, and I hid my vellum all the way over the crack across one. Oh, I got a new TV, guys. <laughs> I was just having trouble seeing my TV. It was so small. And <laughs> Best Buy had a sale going, so I went ahead and got a, a TV. But it's so big. It's like, now it's, well, it's 50 inches. It's not like, here's a crazy huge. It was like $189, so not, not expensive. Um, but it takes up all of my table space where I had my other TV. So now I have to move stuff. That's a magnet. I know I have some vellum in here, I think. It's this vellum pack. Where's the other vellum pack? There it is. Good size. Yeah, I think I should be able to do it with that. side white that's fine but what I'm gonna do is make this so that you can drop it in here but still get it out so either get it out from this side or from this side I might make a little notch so let's cut this to size first so I'll probably just go ahead and follow that shape a little bit because I want to have enough room to get in there my fingers. I think this side might be easier, but for me it's backwards. Oh, maybe if you're... Oh, it might work. We'll do that side because I think it'll be a little bit easier to access. 
So we don't need this to come all the way down. So about to here, about there, and then I guess I'll just try and trim that. Let's see. I'm just going to try to get it kind of sorted. this side. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm totally winging it. So notch it. I guess we should, let's see. What can I get with? Mm, I think it's red, but I don't my lumberjack plaid is hiding somewhere. Might not get to the waterfall, guys. It's probably going to take me forever. We'll just use... I don't know if I want brown. Yeah, brown doesn't work. I, I'm going to find my lumberjack plaid. I know I have it. Let's just find it. Alright, let's... It's probably in here. Or maybe I'll use stays on because it'll work better on vellum. I do have a red... On. It takes a second to dry, but I just want to ink it only so that it'll show easier. Because you can't see the edge of it very well. So I was thinking if I ink it, then you can. No idea what this red looks like. It's going to be the right shade or not. We'll find out. So we're just going to ink this. Just so you can see it. I hope this works. This seems like a cute idea. <laughs> I'm always nervous when I wing it, guys, because I just. I'm never. Should I ink the rest of that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm still debating whether I want to put something color wise in there. I don't know. Because I'm just thinking it'll make a good writing spot. It doesn't necessarily have to have color. I'm going to see how inking looks on this. If I can figure out how to do it. So it might look good. It might look horrible. One second. If nothing else, it shows the edge. It's hard to get these little feet. I think it helps a little. It just kind of sets it off a little bit better. I'm trying to get it kind of sort of even. That's not happening, is it? very hard on my sponge. I don't like this plastic cover. I probably should just do away with it. I've left it so far. Okay. So let's stick this on here. Let's see if we can do this. I think I'm going to use glue because I don't want, if I use tape, sometimes things snag on tape. 
try this with glue. If this doesn't work, oh, um, another one. I have like a whole pack of these. Usually this art glitter will dry on vellum fine. I don't really care if it shows. I usually use tape so it doesn't show so much, but all right, we just want that side open. Be cute if this works. All right, let's see. I'll try to line it up just above that hole. Close to the edge. Kind of like that. All right, let's see. can't really it's wet so I gotta give it a minute but it seems to fit so the idea is that it'll go in there and it can be pulled out and put in there again that's the that's the idea okay um, I'm just I'm gonna give that a second to dry this is just going to be, I think, a journaling spot. The question is, do I want a latch for that? Probably, because it's going to, it needs something. What about a candy cane? I prefer it to be on that side. So I'm going to put Santa, I might have to put Santa over here, because he's not going to have room over here. If I put it there... Put Santa there, but I can't open it. So I might have to put Santa over here. I might need to use two sides. And that's fine. Can we keep the doggy though? Santa and the doggy? Santa and the snowman? And if there's any way I can do this and still make it openable, I don't think there is. So, all right, if I put it on this side, not too close to my signature, opens here, pulls out here, something to close it. Mm -mm, too big. Okay. That's a possibility. A candy cane or something there. And then, I'm trying to see if I have any other candy canes. Not that I couldn't cut one, I could probably. Put more in that pack. Pull the whole pack back out. Let's see. Can't remember if I grabbed all the candy canes or didn't grab all the candy canes. No candy canes there. Nope. Oh no. I only see one. I can possibly find one somewhere else, but I don't know. I'm trying to remember if this is the one I got the candy cane out of. I think it was, but it might not be. Is that this one? I don't see a candy cane. Trees. Pinsettas. And honestly, even a tree or a other thing could possibly work too. Holly. If I can't find a candy cane that would work, I could possibly do it with Holly. 
possibly. Oh, there's another candy cane. Oh, it's a bright, it's gray. It's an ugly color. <laughs> I don't like the gray. I'm not into that gray color. Whatever. It's not even black and white, it's just gray. Well, whose idea that was? Okay, we're going to go with the Holly and the Candy Cane, possibly the Holly or the Candy Cane for now. I also have it stocking, but I think it's a little fat. Too much stuff here, guys. <laughs> Too many packages of stuff. Alright, we'll keep those there for now. Ideally, I would like two candy canes. That might not happen. Like I said, I know I can make a candy cane. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do. So. I'll make another one for my second one. Alright, but I only have one of these guys, but I'm going to use them because he's adorable. So this will go in like this. Let's see if it works. Put it in there. All the way. Now it's hidden. And you reach in. Take it out. And put it in again. Keep milling letters. Woohoo! Alright, we're going to peel him. He's very thick. He needs it to be thinner. I'm just debating if I want him with this and if I want a background color. I probably have a stencil I could put on there. Do you think it needs this too? Do I want to use this on this page? It's almost out of place. I think it's out of place. I'll use it. I'll use it somewhere in this journal. I promise. I will use it somewhere. All right. So we'll probably add stickers here and there once I figure out the layout of everything. All right. So for right now, let's peel Santa because that's going to be a challenge. I got to make sure I can peel him. <laughs> you know, you never know. You never know. The frames floating around that aren't in their proper spots. I'm gonna lose stuff. lose pieces. There's that train again. It's a busy train. All right, let's see. I do like these. They're so cute. I don't know if they're too thick. They might not be. All right, we got to try to peel him. So I'm going to peel off probably half of his layers. He's very thick. Like I said, it's, I don't, I think it was a recollection set, but I'm Gosh, I'm leaning toward it wasn't. You know where it might be? Is it in my stickers? It's not a, is it a sticker? I don't think it's a, no, it's not a sticker. Was that in the die cuts? Maybe it's one of those. It could be a Stamperia. No, because the Stamparia Santa looks like this one. He's different. I don't think it was that. I'm pretty sure it was a recollection set I had that I got from Michael's. I just don't know for sure where I stuck it. I bought it like a year ago. And I don't think I still have the package. But I know I bought it where they keep their stickers, so I bet it's a sticker. But we're going to peel it off anyway. Alright, I don't know. Not a big deal. Chances of you finding it is slim anyway. Alright, let's see if we can do this without destroying him. Usually you can. I just don't want it super thick. So, we're just going to peel off couple of layers. Okay. There. So, 
We went from this thick to this thick. Okay. His thickness is much more usable. Let's see if we can figure out. I think I'll use the doggy. He's a little on the big side, but you know, I don't know. I can't really use him here because, again, you can't open it. You know, unless I cut him out, took him off the sleigh, sat him there, and cut the packages out, and just set them somewhere else. Then I could do that, but for right now, I might just stick it there. So the question is, do the, does that need a background? Is anybody going to say? No, I guess I'm using that. I think I'm just going to use these stickers. Um, I'm trying to think what I have. I have, I know I have snowflakes. Um... What else do I have stencil-wise for Christmas? I have... I'll just pull my Christmas stencils. Let's see what I can find. Deer trees. Not a good background. Lights fall on now. No. I know I have some little snowflakes that it's totally not available anymore but I do have one this has some little snowflakes in it which could possibly work I think I just maybe just some snowflakes in the back I might just use a combination several of these have snowflakes I think this has some snowflakes too that's what I'll do I'll just use some of these little snowflakes just to kind of give it something so it's just not boring and plain so let's do that with I think just a I don't know a bluish color it won't technically match perfectly but it'll just look like a background so let's find some snowflakes here's some good ones on this pink one good size and then I know I saw several there's Try and get a couple different sizes. Get some smaller ones. Lots of snowflakes. If y'all have a bunch of essential stencils, just look through them because chances are you have snowflakes floating around in something. Because there's always some. All right, so we're just going to do this in like a just a light blue, just to give this a background. I think I'll use. Oh, let me open this thing. Um, that seems too dark. Speckled glass. I think I'll use a brush instead of this because it'll go on lighter, but. Let me test it out first. Maybe a piece of plain paper. Uh, we'll just use one of these scraps. Brush. 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 Just one plain. Let's see how light this is. Hmm. Maybe a fraction dark. Where'd the lid go? this no no tumble glass okay <laughs> I didn't think it was that one um so tumble glass I, I know I have lighter blues let's see I'm gonna spend all day on this one thing I hope it's worth it guys <laughs> always feel guilty if I don't get enough done where's my blues what's in here Salty ocean, weathered wood is kind of a lightish blue. If I can find it. Weathered wood. Let's see 
what, what, it, what it looks like. gray but we could do a mixture I guess it won't match the red and all that but it's snowflakes it's I'm not gonna do red snowflakes that would make no sense whatsoever so we're just gonna go for it I have a holly stencil coming but it hasn't got here yet so it is what it is okay so let's just do a mixture of snowflakes on here just for a background we'll do a few blue and a few gray and it's probably just going to mix because I'm just not going to I'm not going to stress about it I'm just going to do it fairly light and just kind of mix and match sure I'll cover up some of these but that is fine that one's really light I can just kind of which one is that I think it's this one Let's see if I can you think I can actually hit it probably not I'll never match it so we're just not going to worry about it it's a gray let's do another gray let's do some of these teeny ones This also has some dots. I'd spritz it with water, but I'm not going to make a mess right now. Too messy. But I might put a few dots here and there. Because this one has a bunch of dots. Where else do you need one? I had one here, but it didn't really show up. I know I can't line it up, but I'm gonna. I just can't see it. <laughs> we'll just do it. It'll be fine. Maybe this one here. That look good enough. I haven't put a lot in the middle because I was figuring I was gonna cover it, but I really don't know if I'm gonna cover it. So let's just do some anyway. That should be enough. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's just something. All right, which one's which? Tumbled glass. Weathered wood. Okay. So we got Santa. We got our little mailbox is going to open and then our closure. Question is, is this stiff enough? I might have to put something on it. I'm not sure if it's going to be stiff enough. I'm going to go through that with a brad. I'll just um, see what's on the other side of this. I really don't even know. I think it's plain. What is it? Okay, good. So nothing on the other side, so I will worry about covering it later. But I want to find, a, I think, a brad. All right, Kiva. Oh, my goodness, guys. One second. I'm sorry. So I only have one of these. You know what I could do? Where's that ugly gray one? <laughs> Where is it? It's here somewhere. Is it in this? I'll find it. Maybe. Maybe I'll find it. I don't think I sat it down here. I cut those packages. So I'm probably not going to use them. Let's see if I can find this other candy cane without making a huge mess. I 
And I'm gonna Did I pull it out? I don't think I pulled it out. Sorry if I'm out of screen. I'm trying to put it where I can have space. What? Girl, did you pull it out? <laughs> I saw it somewhere. Unless it was in that other package. I don't think it was. It's gonna be like the other day, like lost stuff and can't find it. Not there, not there, not there. Now I have all kinds of stuff out. I'm gonna lose all my pieces. <laughs> oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, it's falling out of the pocket. Oh, where were you? There. Go back where you belong. All right, I don't see the candy cane. I know it's here somewhere. Let me find a brad since I got them out. What color brad? Hmm. Silver, maybe? There is some gold trim on some of this stuff. The holly has a gold trim. Is it gold? Oh, gold or silver. We'll pull one of each and then I'll decide. Hold it and get it back on there. Oops, <clears throat> that was not one. That was five billion. All right, That's a little Brad. And then we have Holly on the floor. Don't lose your Holly pieces. All right. And then, let's see if it's in here. I probably stuck it back in the wrong envelope. That would be my guess. Up oh, there is. I'm trying to see. If it's the same size, I'm just going to use it to layer that because it needs to be a little bit thicker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. It's the frames that make this difficult. See if it's the same size. It's probably not the right direction, but the mic can work with it. Okay. Oh, glass. This goes here. Let me see this little candy cane. Where's the other one? <laughs> there. All right. Do they match up? Oh, they do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. That'll just give me a little more um, strength. Because I'm going to use it as one of those, just like a slide over type closure. Let's see if I can do this and get it lined up before it dries. That's always the trick with our glitter. It's a little bit thicker. I'll probably ink it too just to the lines are pretty darn close, but it's a fraction maybe off. It's pretty close though. Alright. So we need that. I don't know if I want to ink it because I'm debating. I might not, because if I do, it's just gonna look funny on the white. I might just leave it. It's barely noticeable. 
noticeable. All right, so we're going to poke a hole in that, and it's going to hold this down. I'm just going to decide where I want my hole. So I don't want it to, I want it to be where it's strong enough. So I'm thinking if I do it about there, it should. Yeah, I think about there. So put a hole. There, I'm, that's not my hole, I'm just marking it. I'm just going to decide if I want gold, because see there's gold trim on this. I'm thinking the gold will work because there's already gold. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Let's poke a hole in our little candy cane. Where's my all? Everything's hidden, guys. I could use my, um, wow, crocodile, that's the word, I was losing it there guys, alright, so I'm going to do that, it's going to have a bride, it's going to go through the page, I might put a back on there just to kind of give it a little more stability though. And, because this is a thin page, it's not cardstock. So we're going to put it back wherever that hits, just before I poke the hole. This is going to go, I think, here. So we're going to have our letter that's going to be removable. And then we're going to have our Santa over here. This candy cane's going to go here. This little saying goes at the top, because that's just perfect. I think the Holly's... Yeah, the holly's on here. Two of them. Do two like that. That's good. A couple of packages. We got stickers for that. So I'm just going to throw stickers somewhere. And then, so let's glue what we have down. So this is going to get glued. Pretty sure right there. Yeah. I could, I'm just going to tuck him in for now. Glue the back from the glue. I'm not getting to anything but this today. It's definitely taking longer than I thought. Not that that surprises me because you know how that goes. All right. I'm glue this down. Not too close to my signature. All right. Behave. do it. Try and make it straight. I think I'm straight. Okay. Let's go ahead and glue this down. Do I need to ink that? I'm not going to ink. I just think it's going to... The red's a little much. It's fine on that inside vellum because it helps see it. But for this, I think I'm not going to ink. All right. This is going to go here. Let's see where I need to be. Things are quite sticking to me. And get straight. I'm having to look from the top down because it's sometimes hard to line up when you're at an angle. All right, that's good. Glue these little hollies down. Right, we'll 
save this holly for something. And Santa and the sleigh with the sleigh go. Sleigh. Oh, there you are. So, I'm going to have to look at comments, guys. I don't think y'all said anything. Nope, nope, nope. 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 I don't see anything. Okay. So we use Santa here. He's going to get his packages. Debating if I want to put that dog slightly behind. quiet <laughs> concentrating too much so we're gonna get some doggy glue oh, I still have a hole that's missing well darn so I don't think it, it wasn't coming out it's <gasps> I think I got it get it out enough there stick him just the tiniest bit under there. Okay. Should get any glue off of there. It looks like he's looking down at the dog. And what else? Um, believe in the magic of. So either this one or this one. I think because we changed it a little bit, I think this one. Yeah. Ah! Hold on to the guard. Do this one on this page. Oh, they're very see through. Hmm. This has got more blue on it, so this has a lot. I'm gonna use a drop or two of glue just around the edge. It's got stickiness, but I don't trust it. So let's see, we're going to throw these. I'm just going to kind of try to put some random ones, which I haven't planned out, but we'll see how it works. So there's one there. I know I have more floating around here somewhere. I don't know where I stuck them all. There they are. There's some boxes. I might put these over here. Get them out. Oh, there it is. Can find the opening. Oh, is it alright? No. The first thing I usually do is cut off this sticky because I can't stand those stickies. Did you 
everything always gets stuck when you don't want it to. Right, so I'm going to put these packages, I think. We're going to have the candy cane there. I wonder if I could set them on top. Just behind, but not... Yeah, I think I can put that there. glue. Not too much. It'll probably show. Not ideal, but I'm going to try line this up. I'm going to open it so I can see what I'm doing. The top of that. Make sure. Yep. That looks good. there and then we're going to have the candy cane here we have hollies we have a couple more packages I have this package i could probably stick over here somewhere maybe it doesn't have to be just packages a couple other things I get the sticky off of it it's fighting me I think I want it up here in the middle. I think I'll try to find something else for there. I'll set this there. That's good. I might try to find something from there. Maybe just some holly or something. Ho ho ho. We have some candy canes. Ornaments. Tree. Debating on the maybe the points set up. Maybe the points set up here. The color looks better, doesn't it? It's right over there. Keep standing up. This is barely holding on. I gotta grab it better. Just a few drops, just in case the sticker's not the best. And we're gonna stick this kind of sort of like that. That's good. Anything else? Hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something there. For the holidays. For Christmas. There are some snowflakes, but I don't think they'll show. Yeah, no, they're definitely not going to show. Another one of those candy canes. No, but I could put it maybe over here. Debating on where. If I just put it in the middle there, maybe. I don't know. Mm. One half dozen the other. I feel like I want another package, but I don't think I have another package. I could cut one. I had that parcel thing. Does that make sense anywhere? I could totally put that there. Alright, we'll put that there. Hmm. 
to thought, but I don't, I don't know if I like that. All right, let's see. Where's those dies? I probably have a die I can use. Let me find one. I'm out of stickers with it. Makes sense. I think. All right, one more die, maybe. Too big, too big, too big. All these are too big. Big, big, big. Stockings way too big. No, 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 no. Might not have anything in this package. These are all way big. There's nothing in that one. I'm not gonna fight with the. Um, I might have to use a sticker. I just don't know which one. The small ones in here. This pink one's adorable. It doesn't really work though, but it is adorable. Merry Christmas. Maybe too many sayings. but it doesn't seem to really fit. All right. Okay. We're just going to do this. I think it fills in. It's got some stripes. I think it'll be all right. attach it. I don't think I really want to attach it per se. I'm just going to kind of stick it below there. It's kind of attached. All right, good enough. And we got to get that little candy cane on there. And we should be good. We're almost out of time. All right. I could do some paper. I do have this stuff. thinking of doing just a writing spot paper. I don't know. I don't like that. It's a little much. Just that little frame. It's way big. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, I know I had some reds here. I, don't, I think they're too plain. needs anything. I could also just do a little bit of a stripey just for a little extra writing. I like having extra writing spaces guys. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right, scissors. It's just gonna be simple. I'm just going to glue just this edge. You know, I'll round it just for the sake of it. I'm trying to get all the pieces everywhere. All right, we're just going to glue just this edge just to give it a little bit of a spot there. of journaling space. Okay. And now we gotta put this. So we can close this up so you can get your little letter out. Put your finger in there. And you can mail your little letter. Okay. And this is going to go. Oh I forgot to glue that down. We gotta glue our posted post parcel thingy. Oh you know what? We're gonna round the parcel. Ooh, I can. I think I can. I think I can. It'll make more sense around it. Okay, there, I got it. Oh, that 
last one didn't get in there. There. Okay. Much better. Ink, not ink. Ooh, I don't even see it. Did you put it back up? Unless I re-ink it, I ain't, it ain't coming out at all. Ugh. It stays on. I like that they seal good, but they are kind of a pain to open. Just a little edge on this guy. This is a very bright, fun page. Parcel. Just think that makes so much sense. And then we're going to put this here. So we don't have our little bread in there yet, but that's okay. So we got to see where it wants to rotate best. So it's going to start off there, rotate to there. Yep, that'll work. All right, so I'm going to put a little mark right there through our hole. A little pencil mark. Okay. And the other side. Can I feel it? Try and see if I can feel it. Almost. All right. Um. Try and find something. Maybe just the silicone. I'm trying to find something I can stick behind there so I can kind of poke it a little bit. Where'd that all go? Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. I just want to see where it is right now. I'm not poking a lot yet. So I can put some, I'm going to put something there, just even just a little picture or holly or tag or something I can glue to. I might cover it up. Well, I will probably most likely cover it up. I'm just debating. I don't really want the, the brad showing. So for right now, I'm just going to use, I'm trying to be, if I want to use anything fancy or not fancy, because I don't really need anything fancy, because I'm chances are it's just going to get covered up. I think I'll do just a piece of cardstock. But I'm trying to find a plain one. Well, relatively plain. This craft paper is kind of like, I bet I have even some of that. Not that I need it, but... You know what, I'll just cut a circle out of this and stick it on there. Chances are I'm just going to cover it up, so it's not really going to matter. But I'm just going to do that for now. Just, I want the Brad to have something to grab a hold of. Just for right now. Because that's really thin. So, and then I'll poke through the whole thing, so I'm just going to guesstimate where that's going to go. This is just like a craft, so it's fairly thick. Just to give it some stability so the page doesn't tear. I don't know what I'm going to do on that page yet, but I'm sure I will cover it with something. Do I have any thin foam? Maybe somewhere, but I don't know where. This I should be able to just pick it up. There. 
I'll go through both of those. Hopefully big enough for my brads. I'm going about usually about that spot on my all seems to be good for those little brads. Okay, where my candy can go. We're almost done, guys. Alright, our candy cane. Sandwich that back where it goes. Alright, so can a cane go through that little hole? Chances are, I'll, like I said, I'll do something this later, so it'll probably get covered up, but that's fine. So this is our page. I think it's really cute. So now we can lock it down. I'm gonna pull down just a little bit. All right, let me get my glue back in before it dries up on me. Do y'all like it? hope you like it but that's a fun way that you can do that and if I didn't have this already made I would have just made one with a piece of paper and honestly probably handwritten this with one of my like my elegant writer or something um or is it? it's not that one nope I have three that look the same no I mean I have four that look the same there it is something that kind of a sharpie type thing and just write all the stuff and then that could be honestly it could be a hand drawn a little stamp could be just a picture of a piece of ephemera from something you can make an envelope it's not super difficult um, but since I had it I figured I'd use it so that is the page I think it's cute so it opens up and then you can pull out your letter and remail it however many times you want and you get some writing space there there and technically even behind there I didn't glue it down so that there's more like a hidden spot there so very cute all right guys that is our live for tonight I hope you all enjoyed I will be back on um, Friday tomorrow's Thanksgiving so family stuff and then um, we actually went out to eat tonight we went to volcano and had sushi um, first time I've been out to eat and Oh my gosh. Many, 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 many moons. <laughs> I don't go out to eat very often at all. Um, you know, at least not that is what I consider more expensive. It wasn't horrible though. It's still, we got out of there for, I don't know, I think it was like 68 or something for sushi for all of us, which wasn't too bad. Um, but we didn't think we were going to do Thanksgiving, and then my, my daughter invited us, so we're actually going to her house for Thanksgiving. So I will be back on Friday. Yes, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I um, hope you all have a wonderful time. Enjoy your time with your families or friends or whatever you call family. All the same. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you on Friday. All right, bye-bye.